five, four, three, two, one. Hello. Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers on the Xbox, on the Series X, for this little look at a feature of Space Engineers that I promised I'd talk about at least one or two videos ago. Uh, there'll be a brief one. It's probably going to go up on the Wolfie One Plays. The Share Inertia Tensor. I wanted to show it you in action and an example of why it's good to put it on. But before you do that, you're going to need to go into experimental mode. Now, there are some people out there who believe that experimental mode and mods and so on and so forth are only available on the beta. Let me tell you now that the beta is woefully out of date compared to the retailer space engineers. Apart from one feature, the beta still features unlimited blocks. Hopefully Keen will transfer that setting across from the beta onto the retail, which will then make the retail the default go-to option for space engineers when you're playing. That said, options, first thing. If you're not, in experimental mode, go down to experimental mode. Activate this setting. When the square is like I've got it, press X to confirm it and you're good. Don't press B and back out. You need to press X. Then we're going to go into my survival guide save, which we will continue with at some point. And the only mod I'm running here is Galax Synthetic Materials. Um, if you're not familiar with that mod, that's in my mod showcase. And here we are on Earth like, just as the sun seems to be bathing the base. Very small, simple base. And we have a drill rig. Now what I'm going to do, first of all, before I do anything, because we are in uh, survival mode, I'm going to make sure, yeah, I'm in creative mode tools because I want to speed things up. And you'll see that when you're in experimental mode for the first time, you'll see a warning at the top. If you hold both bumpers and press the three lines on your controller, you'll bring up the screen and it will tell you all sorts of things. Now, you may not have that one set. If you take it off, it will just remove that information. If you don't want that warning box appearing at all, turn that off. Oops. And this one. Actually, you just turn them all off. And you should... There you go, it's gone. So that little warning box is gone. If you want to get it back or see the warnings, just hold both bumpers, press three lines, and you can bring it back. So, here we go. This is my drill rig. You may recognize it if you've watched my survival guide series. And it's running share inertia tensor. We don't want that. Let's just also. Let, let's bring the sun back. Sort of. Just after sunrise. There we go. So we want to go and turn share inertia tensor off on all three of these for now so I can show you what it does without it and to do that we're just going to simply pop into my control station we're going to start up the drills you'll see the rig starts to shake quite violently and that's without the rotor if I put the rotor on, things go from bad to worse. And that's with the drill extended only on the first piston. And 
the drill arm itself, of course, lets me adjust where I'm drilling. You can see that the advanced rotor is going around really fast. That's because I was playing with speeds. Ideally, you want your rotor to cut down on clang at about one. But we don't want that for now. We actually want it shaking so you can see that the shear inertia tensor has an effect. You'll see it's on this rotor as well. So if I take it off the rotor, things will start to really go from clang to clang. You can see it's not going to destroy the rig, but it's certainly a bit disconcerting. To get rid of this, shear inertia tensor stiffens all the physics connections between the pistons and the rotor and each other and the drills that I've got five running there. And all you need to do, like I just did, find the shear inertia tensor in your control panel, turn it on, come back to your pistons and this is the most important bit putting it on your pistons will have an effect now when i activate it it will cause a violent shake as all the physics connections tighten up like so but now if you look it's still moving very slightly but not enough to cause major problems so now you can actually drill without too much issue and again ideally what you want here is a speed on that drill on the rotor of about one rpm and I'm pressing A twice so I can get directly to the value to set without having to mess with the slider. And you'll see that that is better. If I take off shear inertia tensor on all three of these, you'll see there's still some shake, but it's a little bit better. Again, I always say, put it on and then you don't have to worry about it. And it can do other things as well. If you've got problems with a ship that you built that may have piston driven landing gear or a bay door that opens via pistons rather than hinges, you might find that putting shear inertia tensor onto that pair of pistons or however you've done it will stop any clang forces or any phantom forces being transferred into the grid from the pistons and as you can see from this if i just go to the um drill piston hit reverse extend it it's going down at 0 0.1 of a meter a second this is because I use a timer block. Um, if you watch my survival guide save, you'll see how I built all that and so on. I've also got tutorials on how that's done. If you're new to watching this or you've just forgotten. And there it is. That is your drill rig going down nicely with chair inertia tensor just to finish off once this reaches maximum extension 10 meters you'll see that this whole thing is a lot better off with chair inertia tensor than without because it will start to shake quite a lot as it goes down so again 
putting it on really does help stabilize the drill rig there it is that is share inertia tensor and that's really what i wanted to do i just wanted to talk to you about it show you in action and then you can play around with it yourself if you've never used it before or if you've always wondered how to use it well that's it that's your 101 on how to use it and uh, look for this one as i said on the playlist of d wolfy one plays and uh, i will catch you in the next one stay safe take care have fun enjoy the game i don't want this one to run on too long so bye for now <laughs>